Here's a notes on uh, graphing lines when given a point and slope. We'll go through some of these problems together in case you missed the lesson. First one is finding the rate of change using a table. Um, what we talked about in the class is something called the change in the independent variable over the change in the de dependent variable. And we call that delta y over delta x. So you're seeing the difference between the, between the y's and the x's. So if we're seeing how much it's going to, the rate of change for renting a computer, we're going to see how far it is from 60 to 75. If you're going from 60 to 75, it's 15 plus 15. If I go from 1 to 2, the distance to go from 1 to 2 is just a 1. So I have a rate of change of uh, the rental charge is $15 per day. If I pick another number, it should stay the same. Let's say I pick this 90 over 105. If I decide instead pick these numbers, the diff to go from 90 to 105, it's still 15, and to go up to 3 from 4, it's 1. So it's still $15 per day. Let's take a look at a word problem. Um, the second we talked about in class was about a girl named Grace. She's going scuba diving. She's going scuba diving, and the rate of her uh, she's scuba diving at t equals zero seconds, so that's time. I'm going to make a table. It's like I have uh, t and d. t stands for time and d stands for depth. At t equals zero seconds, she's at a depth of six feet. So when she starts off, before she start, as she starts diving, she's at six feet already. At time, t equals 15, so 15 seconds later, she's 20 feet in the water. Where is to find her rate of average rate of change in depth? So how fast or how deep she's going in based on time. So like before, it's the change in y over the change in x. In this case, we don't really have a y or a dependent variable. It's our change in d, which is a change in our depth over our change in time. It's really the same thing, x and y's. So to go from 6 to 20, to go from 6 to 20, it is positive 14. And they go from 0 to 15 is 15. That's the distance between those two. So if we're asked, what is her average rate of change in depth? We'd say it's 14 feet every 15 seconds. All right, last one on this. Um, a constant rate of change, that will create a, a line when it's graphed. So if we were to graph these points right here, and if we were to graph these points up here about the cost of renting a computer, we would find we'd have a linear function.